Happiness means so many different things to us all. In my world, it's living a happy, holistic, confident, successful life. A big key to that is being more productive. When we're achieving our tasks and in control of our day, we feel happier, confident and better about ourselves. We love making progress, we're more confident, we exude an energy that others can feel even while working remotely. We're in action. So let's agree we want to be more productive. Today's question, how would you rate your productivity levels, especially right now navigating this new way of living and working with COVID? If we know how it makes us feel, why doesn't it always happen despite our best intentions? High performers, no matter their circumstances, always seem to find a way to get more done and be more productive. I've been fascinated with this question of productivity my entire life, and I've tried all kinds of strategies and tactics to find what works best for me, and it's helped me reach many of my own goals, whether that be playing in the AFL or climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. So I thought that I would share eight simple tips that work for me and what I use for part of my coaching with clients around building resilience. So like most things in life, look, take what you need and leave the rest. I understand that everybody works differently. The most important thing is you have to find what works for you. Take action and get into the game. Number one, pick a goal. Pick something that excites you and creates an enthusiastic energy. What is it that you want to achieve? What have you always wanted to do but never tried? What's the most important task I need to get done today? Write it down. If your goal's a lofty one, well, up the stakes and share it with others to instill ownership and accountability. Number two, find acceptance. It plays a huge role in adapting to our unpredictable environment, especially at the moment. Accept that your day may not go the way that you want it to. Accept that there will be interruptions. Accept that it's taking a little longer than it used to. Be kind to yourself and be accepting. Number three, focus. High performers are masters of laser focus. Block out time in your diary when you can and work towards a new goal, preferably first thing in the morning. Robin Sharma, one of the world's top leadership experts, is famous for the 90-91 rule. For the next 90 days, spend the first 90 minutes of your workday on your single most game-changing opportunity or goal. Dedicate specific time and go for it. Four. Get rid of all distractions. They kill productivity. Put your phone in your drawer, turn off your email, and do not look at your social media accounts and stop multitasking and getting distracted by new shiny objects or possibilities. Research suggests that multitasking reduces your productivity by up to 30%. This includes people too. If certain people in your life take you away from achieving your goals, you need to look at this. Five, more fist pumps. Give yourself a pat on the back when you're making progress. Recognize the small wins and the progress you're making as much and as often as you can. Be proud of the gains, no matter how big. This will instill confidence in yourself as you make progress towards your goal. Number six, create good routines, systems, and habits. When you're following the plan, your brain has to do less work. The more you can automate your life, the less thinking you do and the less energy you spend. Interestingly, 40 to 45% of the decisions we make every day are actually habits. So take time and design your routines and habits to steer you in the right direction towards your goal. Number seven, review. What's working and what's not. Iterate and refine as much as you can. The Japanese business philosophy made famous by Toyota calls this practice Kaizen, which means continuous improvement. For example, if you give a presentation, afterwards note, what did you do well, what was difficult, and what you need to do differently next time. And lastly, focus on your energy. To not only keep pace with attaining your goal, but to handle the constant changing environments, setbacks, and difficulties along the journey, we need to make our energy a focus. Be active, sleep and eat well, and project as much positivity as you can into your daily life. I know this sounds like common sense, but it's not common practice. Remember, Talk is cheap. It's actions, not words, that produce results and ultimately define who we are and who we become. Life's a lot more fun when we're going after and achieving what we want. So what's your next goal?